In this video, we're going to edit uh, the navigation menu and, and boxes on the left side of our Google site. In the uh, prior tutorials, we edited pages and created pages and some structure on our site. Uh, we created a chapters and chapter one and two uh, pages, but you'll notice that they don't show up on the navigation menu. The reason is is that as you add pages, if you add a lot of pages, you don't want to build up a cluttered navigation bar. So you have to manually tell the navigation block which pages to list there. If you scroll down, you can edit your sidebar by clicking the Edit Sidebar link. Now a couple of things that are nice here is you have by default a navigation and a recent site activity box. You can add others to your sidebar. Um, here's a list. You have a navigation. You have a text if you just want to add a little text box about, about the project or site you're developing. Recent site activity, which is what you have already. Um, your, my recent site activity is things that I specifically did. And a countdown shows a countdown to a specific date. So if you're going to, say, have a site launch in 30 days, you could have that and have it, have it count down. Um, so you can add these just by finding one and then clicking the Add button. And you'll notice I just added the My Recent Activity. Personally, I kind of find the Recent Activity bo um, boxes a, a little bit distracting on the sidebar. So we can delete them just as easy as we add them by clicking the Delete button. And for any of them, you can edit. Now, specifically in this case on the Navigation box, we want to add uh, some new content there. So we can hit Edit. And uh, first of all, let's say I don't want to call it navigation. Maybe I want to call it menu. I can just type a new title in the box. Uh, we have two listed, the, the welcome, which is our home page. We renamed that from home earlier. We named it welcome. We have our site map, which is always uh, nice to have. And then we'll add a new page, some of the new pages we've edited um, and created to the sidebar. So click on the add page to sidebar navigation. And you'll notice here the chapters, chapter one and chapter two pages that we created in a, in a prior tutorial. So I'm just going to click on uh, chapters and uh, say OK. And you'll notice the chapters has been added to my menu. However, let's say I want the site map at the bottom. I can change the order of these items just by selecting it and then clicking down and it drops it down. So now I have welcome, chapters, and then site map. And if you want to add more, uh, as you add pages, you just repeat this process. And uh, let's say I added a uh, summary page uh, and created that and edited it and it's ready to go and I want to add it to my menu. I could just click Add Page to Sidebar, Find. It doesn't exist now, but we could find the summary document and then click OK and that would be added and then we would just put it in place where we want it to be on the navigation menu and then click OK. Now one of the things I forgot to show you when we uh, edited this navigation bar is if, if I add one back on here again, let's add the recent site activity, um, you can reorder these. If I want um, uh, this above my navigation, I literally just drag these guys. Let's see if it'll do it. Yeah, it's not behaving very well, is it? There it is. Recent site activity, and I can just drag these guys back and forth. So I can reorder those with a drag and drop option. That's kind of nice. All right, that uh, concludes the uh, uh, editing your, your site navigation and your navigation bar. Uh, in the next uh, tutorial, we're going to look at some of the other options for uh, changing the site design um, of your, uh, your Google site.